Oh, he's going again. in! Notre Dame has scored! You got to believe you're going to win the football game. And, and I said to him all week, there'll come a time where somebody's going to flinch in this game. And I believe it was in the third quarter. Miami has like fourth and four on their 40-yard line. They ran a fake punt, and we stopped it. And the team and I all said they flinched. This is Tim Kalau. He was under extreme pressure, and he did not punt well. This time he has the wind at his back. And they go to the short man on the fake. The fake punt, first down, Notre Dame. Matt Britton could not pick up the first down. George uh, Stewart, our, our special teams coach, had been watching so much film, and they'd gotten to one formation. It was like three years ago they ran this fake. He said, I don't expect them to do it, but if they get in this look, it's going to be a fake because this guy staggered back a couple yards, and sure enough, we had a call for it. If we saw it, didn't think it was going to happen, but there it was. I was lined up as a defensive tackle, you know, in my A-gap responsibility, looking in their backfield, and sure enough, they had shifted one of their guys up and uh, two other guys were back, and that was the look we were looking for. Um, and as the play went off, they pulled the guard, so they expected me to block out because usually I held up my guy, which was one left, they called it, and the guy in front of me was pulling to, to uh, block for the running back. Well, because we knew what was going on, I just shot the gap, and no one blocked me, and it made the play real easy. And then, of course, the teammates came in and finished them off, but... Uh, it was uh, you know, one of those shiny moments that uh, and not only myself, but uh, Coach Stewart and those other 10 guys on that team really made something happen out of something that probably most teams wouldn't have went over uh, because that fake hadn't been used for a couple years by Miami. They had to do something tricky in order to try to beat us, and it didn't work. And from that time on, I felt we'd win the football game. It was just one of those turning moments. I think we got the ball back. We drove down and scored again. So it was a momentum changer. Notre Dame with the ball at the Miami 46-yard line. Now Rod Carter, number 91, has started to exert himself as the weak side outside linebacker. Rice to throw on first down. Has time. Waters open. He's got it. Out of bounds at the four-yard line. Rice to Waters. First and goal with the full house. Rod West, number 43, checks into the backfield. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Pat Eilers. It was, uh, it was just one, like I said, of many plays in that game that uh, everybody seemed to step up and make play after play against them. Oh!